my pledge to all basketball heads right now is keep calm and carry. No, I'm joking. Philadelphia 76ers. Jimmy Butler, great move. Great move. Outstanding. You want to win a championship. I see the potential. I see the players that Philly can get that can round out this team. You want to, you want to talk about somebody special other than Joel Embiid on the 76ers? You know who's not getting the credit? J.J. Redick. What a consistent gameplay and season from J.J. Redick. He looks amazing. He looks amazing to have a pull. I think if he started, he can pull. He can pull twenty if they actually gave him the ball a game. He looks outstanding. Any shooter in the league coming in, you know, if you want to emulate somebody, emulate JJ Redick. How he's coming off the screens, hitting those jump shots. It's so fluid. He is a he personifies a player that consistently approves every year from what he was. To what he's become and how he's had the state power in the league. JJ Reddick, congratulations, man. Most much applause to you. But now I want to get down to business. The business is Markel Foles is not working out. I mentioned this before, and I think it's more so he needs a green light. Okay. And he also needs to have the ball in his hands. And now with Butler and then Ben Point Guard Simmons, and you know, it kind of kind of kind of uh Messing up his swag. So so what, what, what I think should happen, and, and even though it looks like to be a jump shot issue, I think he can resolve it. I know I've, I've heard some talk of a, of a bike accident. We don't know for sure. However, I've seen him shoot a regular from the mid-range, maybe a foot or two outside of the, the foul line. He, he shoots a regular when he comes off the screen. So it's not. I assume it's not that bad. Uh, but I want to come back to what they need to do, trade Markel Fultz, and it's not to the 76ers and Kyle Korver. Okay? be nice to see Reddick and Korver together. They both have a similar game. You know, some may say Korver is a six foot seven J.J. Reddick. But you really want something crazy uh, to hurt people's feelings and put fear in the East? How about the Phoenix Suns? How about a trade of Markel Fultz, maybe a draft pick, for Trevor Ariza, T.J. Warren, an underrated T.J. Warren who's a 2.0 Michael Red. Go ahead and look him up, R-E-D-D. And then throw in Jamal Crawford. See, I'm on both sides of my foot. I, I know. I need to be a GM. I know I do. I know I do. That's the trade to make. Ariza, T.J. Warren. Find a way to get Jamal Crawford. You have solidified your guard and forward positions moving forward. I know Wilson Chandler is there. I get it. Small ball, Wilson can play the four. So can Ariza at times. Okay, I understand. I understand that that player is there. Can Philly pull off one of the most integral trades of the year to put him over the top to win now? Joel Embiid is not going to be like he is forever. Okay, he had, he had an injury. Ben Simmons is not going to be like he is forever. Be advised that this is a shorter, quicker response lead, which means, hey, man, when you come in as a rookie, you may get slacked that first year. But after that, you need to produce because there's another two or three rookies coming up the next year that's going to bust your balls in. There's no time anymore. You don't have time. You have time to grow. You don't have time to grow. Well, the time doesn't stop. Philadelphia 76ers, my, my pleading for you is, because of your need for a three-point shooter and Ben Simmons' ill-fated reluctance to shoot threes, Trevor Ariza, career, I think, 42%. Let's get the stats in there. TJ Warren, not a high percentage, but a volume shooter who can play dividends, who can also get to the free throw line. Jamal Crawford, that spark, that get your handle. You got Jimmy. You got Jamal, you got Embiid, you got three closers. Hear me out on this one. All four sports. I hope this gets to Philly. Send it to their GM. There is no other trade to think about but that one. If that one falls through, then you go after Kyle Corver. Then hey, you know what the hell? If you can, if you want to afford J.R. Smith, throw him in there. 
He's a good spot shooter and may be able to play the the the, Kyle, the, uh, the JJ Redick well if he keeps his head on straight. But anyhow, I just want to talk about that real quick. Philadelphia 76ers' next move needs to be with the Suns. Markel, Fariza, and Warren get it going. It's on.